Getting connected, how to set up your fiber router. You've made the right moves to get yourself connected. Your fiber router is sitting on your desk. What now? We're going to help you set up your device and start streaming, socializing, and surfing online with speed. When you open your fiber router box, you should have a quick install guide pamphlet, two loose black antennas, a splitter with two ports visible on one side and one on the other and a short splitter cable, two RJ11 telephone cables, a LAN cable to connect your laptop or computer to the ONT device, a power supply cable to connect your router to power, your fiber router with packaging and plastic removed. You may find it useful to have an additional LAN cable to connect your fiber router to the fiber terminal that connects you to the fiber line. Your device should have come with an additional LAN cable that you can use, however, any LAN cable is usable. The first thing you need to do is attach the two black antennas provided. Insert each antenna into the hole provided on each side of the router and turn clockwise to secure them firmly. Stand the router upright and insert one end of your LAN cable into the blue WAN port at the back of the router and the other end into the LAN 1 port on your fiber terminal. Your technician may have already attached the LAN cable to the correct port during installation. Ensure your fiber terminal is plugged in and displaying a power light. Now you need to take the power supply cable, connect the plug end to a working plug point and insert the other end into a round port labeled DC in at the back of your router. Using the second LAN cable, insert one end into a yellow LAN port at the back of the router and the other end into your laptop or computer's LAN port. You can connect your computer to the router via Wi-Fi as well, but may have to reconnect to complete the setup if you change the network name or password details during software setup in part three. Push in the power button at the back of the router to start the router up. All the lights should come on at first. Simply give it a few moments to display the correct lights. When the router has started up, the power light, the internet light, two Wi-Fi lights, a LAN light, and the WAN light should all be visible and showing up green. If the internet light is red, this means it is connecting to the fiber line, but not authenticating or connecting to the server. If the internet light is red, this means there is a problem with the router configurations or a network failure. Please follow the self-configuration steps or contact our contact center if the issue is not resolved. Now you've done all the hardware stuff. You can set up the software and change your network name and password. Easy! Setting up the software may differ depending on whether your router uses the DHCP or triple PoE protocol. However, this will be automatically detected. DHCP will not require username or password details, but triple PoE will. These details will have been provided by Telcom along with your device. First, you'll need to start up your laptop or computer that is connected to the router and open up your preferred internet browser. Click on the address bar at the top of your browser and type in 10.0.0.2 forward slash and press enter. You should now see your router's home gateway. Begin the software setup process by selecting ETH from the drop-down list of connections and click next. It is at this point it will identify if you require a DHCP or triple PoE setup. Don't worry about knowing which one you have. The setup wizard will auto-detect your type of connection. Software settings for Triple PoE The following steps are only applicable to Triple PoE protocol fiber devices. Once you see a message that says Auto-detect success, Triple P account test passed, check that Triple PoE is selected from the drop-down menu and then click the Next button. Enter the username and password details provided to you by Telcom. Confirm your password once more and click Next. If you have not received these details, please contact us to request them. 
allow a few moments for us to authenticate your details and confirm your account is valid before pressing the next button. Now it's time to change the name of your Wi-Fi network and password from the default. The SSID is the Wi-Fi network name and the pre-share key is the password. Delete the pre-populated text in the box and enter your own unique details. You can click skip if you want to keep the existing default details which can be found on the back of your router. You will now need to enter and confirm your preferred admin login details and then press enter. Telcom VPN Lite customers can change their configurations here. If you are not a VPN Lite customer, simply click Skip. You should now see a table summary of your setup configurations. Review them and then click Apply. If you want to change these details, simply click Back and complete the necessary steps again. This will take you back to the admin login page where you will need to enter your newly updated admin details and click Enter to complete the setup process. Now all you need to do is confirm your internet is working correctly by opening a new tab in your browser, entering any address or search term and pressing Enter. That's it! You're done and ready to start browsing!